Hello and welcome to the BMC Quick Course Series. In this quick course, I will show you how to get started using online reports with BMC Aptune for DB2. You have thousands or even millions of SQL statements per day in your environment. In a perfect world, all of those statements would run efficiently each time they run. Unfortunately, we don't live in a perfect world, and sometimes an SQL statement becomes inefficient, perhaps because of application changes, outdated catalog statistics, or migration to a new version of DB2. Finding the SQL statement that is causing the performance problems is like searching for a needle in a haystack. How can you find the one statement you need to tune within the huge number of statements that behaved well? How do you find the tuning candidate? BMC AppTune for DB2 makes it easy to find inefficient SQL statements. AppTune not only helps you find the statements that are causing problems, it also provides advice on how to tune them. In other words, AppTune finds the needle in the haystack, the bad guy, the tuning candidate. Let's take a look at how to use Aptune to find the needle. Aptune is available as a standalone product and as a component of BMC SQL Performance for DB2. Depending on which product you have a license for, your screens may look slightly different, but all of the functions I explained in this quick course are equally available for both licenses. In this quick course, I'm using screens from SQL Performance for DB2. Starting at the main menu, choose the SQL Workload option, which is option 1 here. We will walk through each of the options on the SQL Workload Analysis menu. You will use these options to set the report criteria that you see in the top half of this screen. You don't have to select all these options every time you create a new report. They are here in case you want to change report criteria. Let's start with option two. Set your initial report type. Here you select your initial entry point into the DB2 performance data collected by Aptune. The more you know about the SQL you are looking for, the more specific in your initial report can be. For example, if you already know the program which contains the SQL you want to tune, select option two. If you know the user ID of someone who used an expensive SQL statement, use option four. Or if you know the table name, but not the program, select option 10 to find the SQL that caused the heavy action on your table. No matter which initial report you choose here, you will have access to all of this information later once you have executed the initial report. If you have a license for SQL performance for DB2, you will see all the options you see here. If you have a license for Aptune only, you will see options 1 through 18. Choose the type of report you want to build. For this quick course, we don't know a lot of details about the poorly performing SQL so we will start at the highest level and build a report by subsystem ID. Press F3 to return to the SQL Workload Analysis menu. Now let's choose how we want to view the report data, as text or as a graph. Choose option 3 to specify the report type. We will choose option one, data. Next, you will choose an application profile. Aptune enables you to define application profiles. Application profiles contain the plans, programs, users, DB2 subsystems, and correlation IDs that you select once to create your own view into a particular application. Let's let you select which aspects of DB2 workload to include or exclude for application performance analysis. For example, you could define an application profile called billing 
that includes the different plans, programs, users, or correlation IDs for the billing application. Using this profile for reporting would give you a single view of performance data for the billing application separated from the rest of the workload. From the application profile selection screen, you can view and select already defined application profiles. Every Aptune user can create multiple application profiles. These profiles can be shared among other users to provide consistent reporting for particular applications. For this quick course, we will use the default profile. Now I show you how to select a time interval to report on. By default, Aptune permanently monitors your DB2 subsystem and writes the collected performance data to storage. The default interval is 24 hours. At the end of each interval, Aptune writes the collected data to trace data sets and resets the storage for the new interval data. Use the data on the trace data sets to do history reporting. By default, Aptune reports on the current interval. To change the input to a prior interval, an interval from the past, select option 5, time interval. Here you can see the available time intervals listed by date and subsystem. You can see the duration of the interval and also the number of collected data entries in each interval. You can select a single interval to report on by typing S in the leftmost column next to the interval and you can select a range of intervals by typing S next to the first and last interval. But before we select an interval, let's look at the filtering criteria. Type F next to the interval and press enter to see what filters are being used. Aptune allows you to define a filter to set collection options per DB2 subsystem. You can create multiple filters but only one filter can be active for a DB2 subsystem or member. For example, filters allow you to exclude certain applications from Aptune data collection. Many more filtering options are available because different filters can be active at different times for a particular DB2 subsystem or member. It is important to understand which filter was active for a given interval before selecting it for reporting. To learn more about filtering, See the System and SQL Performance for DB2 Administration Guide. Subsystem DJJ1 is using filter DJJ1FILT. Press F3 to re return to the Select Analysis Interval panel. We can see that Subsystem DJJ1 had 149 collected performance records or entries for the selected entry. We want to report on the data from that interval. Select this interval by typing S next to it. Press F3 to return to the SQL Workload Analysis menu. Back on the SQL Workload Analysis menu, we select option 6 to change data sources and DB2 subsystems. By default, Aptune gets your data from its data collector or DBC subsystem running as a started task. But we could also specify a particular data set containing Aptune performance data or an archive trace data set as an alternative input to the report. For this quick course, we will choose option S for the data collector subsystem DBCA. Independent of the different data sources, we can also select particular DB2 subsystems or members for reporting to include all DB2 subsystems for which Aptune has collected data in the report, enter an asterisk in the DB2 SSID list field. Press F3 to return to the SQL workload analysis menu. The report is ready to run. At the top half of the screen, we see the options that we just specified. We will pull data from the data collector subsystem, DBCA, 
and we will include all DB2 subsystems. The initial report is a subsystem analysis report and we are using the default application profile. Once you verify that the parameters are set to what you want, choose option 1 to run the report. This concludes the Getting Started with Online Reports quick course. Thank you for your time.